out of there. Welcome back to the garage. And we got new mats. Also, thank you very much to Pat at uh, Fuji Mats down in Melbourne for supplying these amazing mats. And um, yeah, very nice. Anyway, rain's fourth week, so uh, we've been going back over self defense standing and we're starting to introduce some of the ideas, um, in, including punching and stuff now. So we did some takedowns whereby he threw a punch and trapped it and went to the back and stuff like this. And so now we're just having a look at the bridge and roll and rather than a gi variation where we, the person's trying to choke us and we catch the arm like that, now we're just having a look at like what to do if the person's sitting on top of you and maybe you're in a t-shirt, maybe you don't have a top on at all and how to deal with the punch. So a little bit further down. Yeah, thumbs on top. Yeah, I can't get my feet on your hips. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. So if you push yourself away, for example, from here, I could put my feet on your hips. And now I'm the one that's got control, right? Okay, now I can start looking at doing arm bars and things. So when you're here like this and you lose balance, that's it's it's important. Yes, I can't get my feet on your hips. I can't get my legs involved here. Right, very good. Okay. Good. Yeah. Nice. I've got a punch. Good. Trap it. Nice. Trap the foot. Good. Good. Try to keep it close. Good. Lose your balance. Good. Taking my feet on your hips. Very nice. Good, good, good. So, as you can see, when he falls forwards, I don't want him putting his hands on the mat because then there's the possibility for the person who's, who's using their guard to trap their arm. And then the person who's in the guard isn't able to use their hands to control their opponent or to stop them sitting up trying to choke him and things like that. So it's very important that I control the center of the fight near their belt and near their chest. If I lose my balance when I fall forwards, I don't want to put my hands on the floor. I almost want to like skydive onto the person, make stomach contact and roll onto them and for my hands to curl over their biceps, I've really got to get control of their hands. I don't know if they've got their car keys in their hand, they're going to try and stab me in the face, right? So I want to make sure that I'm cupping their arms, my elbows are in, my knees are close so they can't bring their legs into the fight, push me away and make space. So even though I've lost my balance, I don't want to lose control of the space that I need to be able to control. 